Welcome back everyone, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me today to this new episode of Music with Nick. Today we got another pick by JJ Loves Prince and she has really uh, proven to us how amazing Prince is. I know all of you, most of you uh, already know this, but uh, for me it's been quite a journey to see, you know, Prince pretty much do everything, you know, like that a musician, um, you know, can do you know i mean i guess only him you know uh, i I've, I've not really seen a lot of musician musicians that you know um if they're like into singing then they're usually into dancing and that's it you know that's their thing or singers you know who just sing uh but the the whole singing and dancing that's one thing then also being an accomplished very very accomplished piano player on top of that is already crazy like let's think for example, like Elton John, you know, uh, Freddie Mercury. Uh, that's more like a showman, like sing, piano. But maybe the dancing there is not included. But with, with, with Prince, it was also all there. Also the other instrument, like the bass, the drums. Um, it's like inc incredible, like everything he really mastered, you know. So, yeah, I'm really, I'm, I'm a real fan. I love like pretty much everything I've seen. There's a lot of videos. I'll leave them all throughout the video on the, you know, on the right upper corner. There's, it's going to, you're going to see links appear and you can click on those. Once you finish with the video, if you watch it again, um, uh, you can click also in the description, all the other videos. I want to see everything that a JJ has, you know, um, submitted to, to the channel. And I wanted to thank her, of course, for sponsoring this video as well this one is going to be fun because it has i don't know if it's with uh, the artist santana because i did i haven't clicked on it or if it's just a santana inspired medley it says santana was a huge influence on prince and um this is uh, and this is what jj wrote to she said uh, i thought you might enjoy this santana medley and of course i'm not like a super pro when it comes to santana but i do know like the most popular stuff uh i, I still have to get into the whole fusion aspect of things and the non-commercial tracks so yeah so um uh, give me just one moment i'll um boot up the video and we'll react to prince doing some santana one moment all right here we are with the video and it's it might you know, it, it might get a little bit loud. I don't know the volume of these videos. Just be careful. Don't hurt your ears. Here we go. Thank you so much. And let's give it up for Santana Medley. Live Glam Slam Miami. Prince and the NPG. <laughs> Okay, so I don't really know what this tune is, but I love just to like acknowledge the moment. As always, Prince looks amazing, you know. He always has some clever way of, you know, dressing for the performance. I love the guitar. It looks insane just to transport that thing, just not to break, you know, because it's like big, you know. Um 
but sounding amazing, uh, a dancer, great idea. You know, it's always a party with Prince, and uh, that's why it's almost like it would be, I mean, of course, you have to listen to the albums and you can imagine, you know, but I think this chance to do this live, you know, to react to these live performances is really cool because it's a feast on the eyes, you know, everything that's happening. It's so sometimes um, it's so also over the top, you know, I love that. I love a, a great spectacle and uh, these Prince videos, I mean, just everything he does. And I mean, also the playing here, being a guitar player myself, great tone on the guitar. I love his rhythm guitar playing and very free, you know, he knows exactly what he's doing. It's like he's just, he could be just a guitar player and be, be very good, you know, that's, um, and that's, and he's not doing anything else. But it's just like the, the, the way he is playing that rhythm, that funk um, is really, really effective. So let's keep going. It's really, really good.
<laughs> I felt I felt the end was coming here. there we go okay give me one second all right that was wonderful i loved it and i did see at the end when i looked at uh the other monitor that there was a little kind of a, a little bit of a slowdown i think it happens when i suddenly you know move the mouse it kind of like that's when the ram spikes up but it's crazy i've been literally uninstalling just stuff you know programs to make i think it's the computer but we're soon going to get a new one and then uh, anything kind of like towards lagging is going to be a thing of the past. This was a wonderful, what I loved, um, especially was, uh, I mean, apart from, I don't know if the drummer was Dennis Chambers. He looked like him a little bit. You, there was just one shot of the drummer, you know, doing the drumming. And, um, he looked a little bit like that Dennis Chambers, but I could be wrong. Um, I love the piano improv. Very, very cool. Very jazzy, very fluent. Just a very, very cool, very Latino inspired, you know, just Santana. And also, uh, um, you know, um, Prince here was doing, um, you know, the improvisation he was doing. It was very, you know, um, Santana inspired, you know, the Dorian mode comes to mind. Of course, uh, Santana is a huge user of the Dorian mode. And I think it's the melodic minor scale. And that should, it gives you that spanish flavor in in when you play guitar when you improvise over those two scales and he was doing that very efficiently and i, I was like oh my god just like i maybe there is a way to take this thing apart the guitar because imagine transporting the guitar but just this you know this thing is so big and obviously he would be pissed if it so i think there must be if the guitar engineer maybe you know came up with like you know we're just gonna add this thing when you go on stage we're gonna add it on in the back you know and then you're gonna play and then when you finish we're gonna take it off and transport i don't know i would like to see if that's if anybody has any trivia on this would be fun to know but overall the whole thing was was great i didn't recognize a particular tune it sounded a lot of course like santana that you know latin infused uh rock and what i also loved about this whole performance is that he had this girl up on stage um you know dancing so it's not just about him you know it's like because people could just be you know gushing at her because obviously she's very beautiful you know and she's dancing and doing this all, all the show so i love that he's taking away the spotlight a little bit from him it's not just about him it's not just like a because he could be like, you know, I'm going to do this by myself. I want to be up on stage and play guitar. So everybody looks at me. No, on the contrary, he's like, let's have somebody up there with me and dance, you know, and that speaks volumes because there's a lot of ego, um, very egocentric guitar players that it's all about them. Um, even I know some uh, my favorites, you know, that are like it. And uh, it's just, you know, it it's just a character. It's a character trait. It's a bummer because it's all about them and like, look at me, how good I am and how cool I am. I like to see that in people when they're not, it's not just about them, you know. Um, I don't know, it just speaks very highly of someone, you know, that's not just like, hey, you know, look what I can do. And, you know, instead of, no, they have some other distraction up there. It's really cool. So, no, but overall, this was a great, great performance. Thank you again so much, JJ. Um, I know you're having such a blast uh, with these videos and um, so is everybody else on the channel and myself of course you know presenting them it's an honor you know to get into prints into the prints rabbit hole but also video you know um, now I can actually say and maybe you know take part in a conversation if they talk about prints before I couldn't I, I, I felt like I couldn't really do that you know because I didn't even really know anything about him like 
the physical aspect, the way he dances, the way he moves, just the way he expresses himself and on different instruments. But now it can be like, hey, have you seen this and that? And you know that, you know, that he does all this stuff, you know? I mean, bass, guitar, drums, piano, singing, dancing, and just the whole co composing, the lyrics, the whole show, I think, is just in his mind and hey, he creates it. And uh, that's amazing, you know, just that alone, you know, would have been for me uh, like a definite, like, of course, I'm going to go see Prince, you know, I'm not going to miss that. Yesterday, we were very lucky. We got to see um, uh, two bands, uh, the Doobie Brothers, which was fantastic with Michael McDonald uh, and also the original, you know, singer, um, mostly the original, um, you know, players from uh, from 52 years ago. So we are really lucky to, to see them. And we also saw um, Steve Winwood. So that was amazing. That was just uh, beautiful. We, we did stream it if you want to watch it. It's not the best quality, but it's there. So it, just wanting to let you know. Again, I'm going to post all the other. Uh, I'm going to add at the end of this video all the other Prince videos. If you want to do a, uh, a Prince marathon, um, you can. And again, thank you so much, JJ, for sponsoring this for being such a great fan and also supporting this channel so much. Thank you. Um, thank you. Thank you. And I'll see you all in the next one.